What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this uh, Saturday evening, Saturday night. I'm doing good myself. I had a very, very relaxing Shabbat today and all. Yesterday, I became preoccupied with uh, what you see before you on the screen. So, that took pretty much all my time, you know, and I didn't even... You know, I wouldn't even, I even have a chance, you know, to get into a video. So this is the reason why we're here. I just wanted to show y'all this uh, beef and broccoli stir fry right here. It was very, very good. You understand? Oh, don't worry. We're going to get into the story, you know, that uh, the reason why you came here in the first place. I just wanted to show y'all this right here first. It was very good. You understand? But... Oh, I had some rice on the side with it, too, and everything. Very good. But the only thing was, was I messed up. As I got a certain soy sauce that I will never buy again because it's entirely too salty. I mean, it just dominated everything. You know, I had a... I even mixed, you know, garlic, ginger, and lime, brown sugar, all of that stuff with it, you know. And, uh... It still was just salty. Other than that, it was delicious. But I'm just telling you, if you ever decide to get some soy sauce, you know, make sure that you avoid this brand right here. You know, always go for like low sodium, you know, because this stuff right here is entirely too salty, too salty. It's this brand right here. You know, some people like a lot of sodium, but, you know, it's not so good. You know, it swells up the joints, <laughs> you know. Or what have you. That's pretty much what I want to show you about that. But nevertheless, that was still delicious, I'm telling you. We had a nice time eating that, you know. Now we're going to get into the story. Okay, here we go. You understand? I came across this story right here. Some of you may have already, you know, heard about it or seen it, or what have you. But when I come across it, of course, it was one of those stories that automatically just makes you just angry, just flares you up. You understand? Um, as you can see right here, it says white woman keeps black woman back from exiting her own building, calls her robber. All right. I guess this squirrel face trick right here. Well, she looks more like a damn ferret. Some shit. I don't know. Decided, you know, she wants to accost a person. It ain't that against the law to just get somebody and, and accost them and, and tell them what, you know, you hold them like hostage or something like that, you know. I'm telling you, these subs right here are making suicide moves. You understand? And they're picking people at random. Apparently, they think they can get away with doing it with. All right. Let's get into the story. A viral video shows a white woman apparently blocking the entrance of a building and not allowing a black woman to go anywhere because the white woman believed she robbed somebody. Okay. Instagram user Taria Rashad on Friday posted a video of the incident, which has since garnered thousands of views. The video was shared online by activists such as, what's that, Siraj, what's that, Samra G. Sai, I guess, and user at SJP, well, SJPs, who identified the location at Maryland's Montgomery County. I don't know what they're showing Chewbacca for, Bigfoot. I guess this is a video right here. Let's check it out, see what we can Get this to play. White people are crazy as fuck. Do you see her? Do y'all see her? Do y'all really see her? Like, so if I beat her ass, then what? Move if I knock her way. ass, I, you have three seconds to get out of my way. Please. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Move out of the way. One. Anna, Tell her to move. I'm gonna whip your grandmother's ass. Two. Can you please move me? Anna, Can you move me? No, I'm not. I'm not Can you move me? Can what you are you talking to on that phone? Is it a resident of this building? Is it a resident of this 
tell your nana to get her ass out of the way. Nana, please. Fuck out of the way, dumb bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Are you going to rob somebody? Do you hear her? You need to get your hair done. Tell this bitch is crazy as fuck. You this are too right for letting her pull that shit. You this crazier than her. And hood like held me. Then she said I'm gonna go rob somebody. You racist, dirty, nasty ass fucking. You know, I guess those three seconds never came. You understand? See, that's the kind of shit right there that that actually encourages more subs to do shit like this. Sometimes I wonder if stories like this is really true. If it's something just to be just made up to actually get us as a people stirred up. You understand? Because I'm tell you this. I lie to you not. If any stupid ass dumb ass up pull some shit like that with me it would be going I, i'm telling you by the time he wouldn't even have time to make body contact I, i'm not even trying to push you out of the way i ain't trying to do shit you in my damn way your ass gonna get put out of my way it's really that simple this lady right here this sister right here she's full of shit far as i'm concerned because i'm gonna just put it out there i'm gonna say this i bet you money there's no other brother or sister could have pulled a shit that that sub pulled. You see what I mean? And you're going to stand there and count. You understand? I'm going to beat her ass on three, in three seconds. You ain't out of my way. And she's, you all on her. She's on you. She's blocking, trying it. That bitch was supposed to be on the floor. She was supposed to be on the floor. See? She was going to, I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm wondering if this shit is something that, that these people doing in the background and get some actors together just to get shit like this, you know, on and popping. I don't, you know, this kind of shit is hard to believe right here. It's hard to believe. See? But it says right here, it says, I'm going to post for today, but to show you all that certain white people think they're superior than everyone else and it's not fair. My mom has worked hard just like 90% of all the white people who live here get a life all right you know why a lot of them they, they feel like you know what i mean they superiors because you just let her got away with some shit she tried some shit right right there that she shouldn't have survived that's the reason why they think they superior because they feel like and all you did was open the door for them go pull some shit like that with somebody like me and you're going to hear about it on the news you see what i mean that's what you did. You in, When you let them get away with shit like this, you encourage them to do shit like that. There ain't no way in the world that pissy bitch should have walked away from that shit. Without somebody picking her ass up off the floor or she getting up off the floor, you know, barely making it herself, screaming and hollering for help. That's the way I feel about it. But to continue, the minute-long video shows Rashad recording from an angle as she is being held by an old white woman. Decrepit looking ferret faced bitch too. Who appears to be blocking the main door of the building. In her post and in, in Twitter exchange, the activist Rashad said the white woman was stopping her from leaving her own building. Rashad did not immediately respond to the Daily Dot's request for comment. The video starts with Rashad hunched over the back of the white woman, saying into the camera, white people are crazy as fuck. See, feeding the shit, feeding the shit. You understand me? Making them act like they do. Whatever happened to so-called black people don't play? What happened with that shit? Whatever happened to, we ain't on our ancestors. Look at that shit right there. <laughs> That's the thing about it. Our ancestors wouldn't have put up with that shit. You know, what, 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 well, I'm going to tell you what they did. What they did, you see? They fought, you understand what I mean? They killed, they lived, and they died. That's what they did. You see what I mean? Here in this generation, right, I'm seeing a lot of passiveness. You understand? Oh, yeah, they fought. I, I'm telling you, ancestors did fight. You know, they just keep showing us that bullshit with Martin Luther King. And, then you know, when they be marching on the bridge and all that stuff, we should overcome and stuff like that. And then the cops get the little billy clubs and the German shepherds, you know, and the water hoses and stuff like that. You see? But they don't show you all a lot of other things. You know what I mean? Every now and again, they'll get the one clip where they'll show 
the brothers that were, that were handcuffed to one another, and then the, 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 the sub swing on him with the little nightstick, and that brother did his best to try to knock his damn ass into the, the next world. You know, it's oh, been many a times, you know what I mean? But they're only going to show shit that's going to show them in power. You see? That's basically what it boils down to. But I'm telling you, when you let them do shit like this and walk away with it without a uh, knot on their fucking head, you understand? Uh, some kind of bruise, uh, uh, bruises on the body, a uh, bloody nose, bloody mouth, broke jaw, whatever. You encourage them and the rest of them that look at this shit to do it again to somebody else. But to continue, can you see her? Do you see her? Do y'all really see her? If I be her ass, then what? Then that's what you were supposed to be doing. You shouldn't have been even standing there even talking. You shouldn't have been talking at that point. When you all, all, all you had is it one time, get the fuck out my way. Who the fuck do you think you are? And she stand, stood there and said, hey, but this and to talk the shit that she talked. You a robber who you calling this at? That bitch would have been lay, laying on her back. Looking up, well, probably looking, her eyes buck wide open and couldn't see a damn thing. That's the way you're supposed to handle shit like this. You're supposed to put it with this. Then she goes on to say, as we heard her, you got three seconds to get out of the way. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. She tells the woman whose face isn't clearly visible in the video. A young kid is heard. From out of the frame, pleading with the old woman, Nana, please, he says. Tell her to move. Rashad is heard saying to the kid. Nana, please, the child says rep repeatedly from outside the door. Can you please move, ma'am? Rashad asks. Listen to this shit. No, I'm not. The woman is heard uh, saying. I'm not letting you out of this building. Who are you talking to on that phone? Is it a resident of this building? Here's a old ass woman, guys. Rashad says, as the kid in the background is heard continually to repeat. Well, continue repeating. Nana, please, please. See, the kid even knew. The, the kid even suspected that Nana was supposed to get her ass kicking. Rashad failed to give what the kid was expecting for Nana to get. Shame on you, Rashad. And that's all, all there is to it. And it goes on to say, Nana, well, tell your Nana to get her ass out of the way, says Rashad. Well, if the Nana ain't listening to you, what make you think she's going to listen to the child? You were supposed to make sure you know what I mean. It's up to you to get her ass out of your way. See, at this point, the child comes up to the door and opens it, and the woman scurries out. Fuck out, what is it? Fuck out of the way, dumb bitch, Rashad says. Fuck you, bitch. The woman opens the door briefly and says, Rashad, says to Rashad, you gonna go rob somebody before walking away with her grandson. This bitch is crazy as fuck. Rashad says, zooming in on the woman outside. She just stood in the middle and held me. And then she said, I'm going to rob. Well, I'm going, I'm going to rob somebody. You, like I said, no, because I can't, man, I can't ride with this kind of shit. But to continue, it says, according to a screenshot conversation that at SJP's tweeted, Rashad says the white woman did not believe. She lived in the building because majority people who live there are white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see racial profiling, accosting people, you know what I mean? And, and, and <laughs> actually, actually, you know, she detained that woman like she had rights to do it. People on Twitter shared their frustration about the repeated incident of the video showing white people harassing black people. Some pointed out that the white woman was not actually in fear of her safety because she stuck there and stopped Rashad from stepping out while her own grandkid was in the situation. Not a typical response for someone 
who scared because they're facing a robber. It's bullshit. And like I'm saying, I still said, Rashad here, you fed you you fed into it. You fell in you you did. You fed you fed into that shit. The video went viral after being shared on Twitter on Sunday, and another young black woman tweeted that the white woman lives directly next to her in the same building and is generally nice to her. Just shut up. Just shut up. She can't be that damn nice. She up here messing with people that she don't even know. She keeps that damn shit up. I hope, I'd be glad when she do that shit with the right one. Rashad said she would be heading to the leasing office Monday and address the situation. You should be for going to lease file charges. Are you scared to do that? Are you going to make, you're going to make threats to do that and you're not going to, you know, follow through. The three seconds never came. If you don't get out my way in three seconds, I'm going to beat your ass and all that. Tell your nana to get out my way. Like she going to listen to the damn kid and she ain't even giving a damn about what you telling her. And you, she the one, she fucking with you. How you sound? This is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Where was it? Was like this one sister back here. Uh, I think it was last year. Where this, uh, they was in a store parking lot. Uh, and, um. Actually, <laughs> she was in a parking space and this old ass Mr. Magoo looking bastard smelling like brute and cigarettes. You understand? I'm going to tell her, move the car out of the way, nigger. And, you know, she said she she was already out of the car. She said, say that shit to me again, right? But I said it again, move the car out of the way, nigger. And she slapped the fucking cataract out of his damn eye. I ain't lying. I saw the damn cataract fly from his eye and drop to the damn ground. And then he would do a little kick and shit with some damn little ran over penny loafers and shit. But when it was all said and done, he ain't want no parts of that sister right here. And that's just who, what this woman right here, Rashad was supposed to do this fair face trick. But she didn't do it. Because she out here bullshitting. She encouraging this kind of behavior from these subs. You understand? <sighs> That's pretty much all I got to say on it. This kind of shit like is making, you know, it really, you know, uh, 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 likes a fuse. You know what I mean? And that's not good. So let me just go on here and disconnect the fuse. You know what I mean? I don't want to go off. So therefore, that's pretty much all I got on this. Uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.